Around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWars InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without silver bullet. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver bullet. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Broadcasting worldwide, I am your host. Here's from Mercola's site, Dr. Mercola. Are you or your family eating toxic food dyes? Since we mentioned this, Brilliant One, Blue One. And then it goes through what it does. Indigo, Blue Two, Citrus Red Two. Oh, causes tumors in the bladder. That's always fun. Another study, Red 3, recognized in 1990 by the FDA as a thyroid carcinogen in animals and is banned in cosmetics and ex externally applied drugs. What is it? What's it in? Sausage casings, oral medication, maraschino cherries, baked goods, candies. Red 40, and it just goes through all the wonderful things that this stuff does to you. If my children get any of those cherries, like if they go to a yogurt place or frozen yogurt, I can always tell. I'll go, oh, my gosh, you're bouncing off the walls. Let me look at your tongue. And they stick their tongues out, and they go, yeah, we had cherries or we had red candy. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. I mean, it is a fact, ladies and gentlemen. That's the nervous system, like when you're poisoned. Like you take poisonous mushrooms, you start jumping around. Same deal when you've been poisoned. And the point is, is that if people want to do all this, that's their issue. But the cancer rates, the neurological rates, they're all off the chart. So I hope you go to foodbabe.com and sign her petition. 
Because if we leverage things enough, we can get all the big manufacturers are moving to organic. And they try to game that as well, but, but still we're moving in the right direction. If we can defeat them here, we defeat them worldwide. They're doubling down with their money in Congress. Uh, they are going after their critics, but they can't intimidate folks anymore. I mean, 15 years ago, you talked about Monsanto with a published study, they come after you. But people didn't get intimidated, so more spoke out. Their own scientists have spoken out. It came out more than a decade ago that Monsanto doesn't uh, even have unorganic food in their cafeterias for their scientists. That the British elites and the German elites and the French elites and the Chinese communist elites have their own gardens, their own food. Rich people, establishment insiders don't drink fluoridated water. They don't do any of this. So I hope you get her book. I hope you get into health like I've tried to do because I've known all this info. Why not follow it? Why not actually try to change my life? Why not try to help my kids? Doesn't mean you're perfect, but we're being bombarded. This is the tip of the spear for the globalists. Briefly, why do I take Survival Shield X2? It's deep earth, purest iodine you can find. It's not the bound type, the poison stuff at the store. It's not like the rad pills you take in an emergency. This is true purified iodine that's the good halogen that blocks the bad fluoride, blocks the other bad halogens, and basically pulls them out of the body. And believe me, you go on this for a month, you will detox, and you will have stuff come out of your skin and your body you won't believe. Infowarslife.com. Try it for yourself. Consult your physician. This is not a game. Uh, the, the oxy powder will flush out your upper and lower intestine and just does wonders for everyone I know that's taken it and myself. You want to get over those, a lot of those bowel problems a lot of people have out there? I'm not going to go into details. Give it a try. You've heard the rave reviews. This isn't a game. There are real solutions out there. And the great part is we're bringing you these high-quality products at InfoWarsLife.com, and it helps fund our entire operation as well. So we can have a platform for all these other great activists and people to take action so we can all interface together and work together. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Uh, FoodBabe.com is the website. Vani Hari is the food babe. You've got the floor for the next six, seven minutes to cover other areas, things you haven't gotten into, other important uh, news that's breaking, and tell us about your book. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things you mentioned, Alex, is that a lot of these chemicals in our food are toxins. They're going to cause health issues, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, uh, kidney failure. You know, um, one of the ingredients, and I know you talk about this a lot, is artificial sweeteners. And one of the things that people don't realize in products that they give to their children contain these artificial sweeteners, even though they already have other kind of sweeteners like high fructose corn syrup or a type of sugar or something else. And that product right here is the Pillsbury Toaster Strudels. These actually have artificial sweetener sucralose, aka Splenda, that's now linked to leukemia that caused the Center of Science and Public Interest to deem it as an unsafe ingredient in our food. And, you know, that's not something you want to be given to your kids. Along those same lines, Pop-Tarts, so popular, big Kellogg's product, it's still being sold everywhere. It has TBHQ. TBHQ is a derivative of butane. This is the ingredient that I lobbied Chick-fil-A to remove from their food, which they did because they did see that consumers didn't want it in their food anymore. And that ingredient also can be found in, in these other products over here. But this one also is very alarming. This is a weight control oatmeal from Quaker Oats. You think this would be really healthy, but it's not. It actually has artificial food dyes and also has that sucralose ingredient that's linked to leukemia. This is not oatmeal we want to be consuming as a as a, a as America, as a society to lose weight. And this brings me to my last point. All of these chemicals we talked about today, the pesticides, the artificial food dyes, all of the different chemical concoctions we're putting in our bodies are creating what we call obesogens in our body. And that is making us fat, sick, unhealthy, and depressed. And that is why I wrote The Food Babe Way. The Food Babe Way will teach you everything you need to know about these obesogens, where they are, how to avoid them, how to avoid the sickening 15 ingredients, how to eat in any restaurant in America and avoid these ingredients, and also what's in the food that are at very, very popular health restaurants. I went undercover to find this information out and put it in my book so that I could bring it to you guys and you could have it all in this beautiful little package. Here's the brand new hardcover that just came in, and this is going to give you 
the steps on how to break free in this overprocessed world, I'll take you through 21 days. And all I want you to do is one habit a day. It's very doable. One habit a day, you're going to realize that, you know what? You can maintain your weight without dieting. You can look younger. You can feel healthy. You can hopefully get off your prescription medications because that's what happened to me. I was on six to eight prescription drugs depending upon the season, and now I'm on zero, and I feel and look 10 times better. I cannot tell you what a big difference learning these habits and then putting them in my life has made it, it's created the food babe. I was not the food babe back in the day. I look nothing like a babe. I can tell you that right now. And this is a true testament to what health, eating healthy and eliminating the toxic chemicals can do. And I hope everybody checks out this book. It's coming out February 10th. But if you order now, we're giving some ridiculous bonuses, whether you pre ordered on Alex's site, on InfoWars, or on Amazon, or Barnes and Noble, or if you support an indie bookstore. Send us your receipt at bonus at foodbabe.com and we'll send you a shopping guide that's over 40 pages that shows you how to shop in every major grocery store in America to avoid these toxins. We'll send you my favorite workout DVD of these amazing women that have taught me how to really shrink my ass. Oh, can I say that on here? I'm sorry, my butt. <laughs> and really get in shape and be in my tip top shape. And we're giving that away for free as well, along with tons of other products, organic mattresses that aren't filled with toxic materials. We have organic clay pots that are slow cookers that allow you to cook while you're busy. You know, all of these healthy tools to get you on your way in 2015 to realize the healthiest you. Well, we've all got to do it. And, and none of us are perfect, but we just change our lifestyles. You talk about how going back years ago, you were just in horrible shape. And now you look younger, feel better just by getting off the fast food. Briefly recap that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for most of my life, Alex, I grew up on industrial processed food. I ate the fast food. My parents were both from India. They didn't know how to cook American. They wanted us to fit in with everybody else. So they let us eat the Burger King. I had my birthday party at Burger King. We went to McDonald's and we filled out those little colorings and got the free breakfast for Father's Day and Mother's Day. We lived our life. My aunt worked at McDonald's and would, we would go and visit her while I was little. And I tell you, I ate fast food. I didn't eat much and anything really truly healthy until much later in my life. And as a result, I lived a very zombie-like lifestyle. I never felt well. I had stomach issues. I always had like a cloudy brain. You know, I was smart because I think I had good genes from two amazing parents. But I tell you, I really did not feel well. And I didn't look well. I had eczema all over my face. I had asthma. And then in my early 20s, had a horrible appendicitis episode where I almost didn't get treated for it. And if it has, hadn't been for my parents' sixth sense to tell me to go see another doctor, I might have died because that appendix was about to explode in my body. And I had to get it taken out immediately the next morning after visiting an emergency room doctor that told me that nothing was wrong. So it was a really life-changing moment. And then even a year after that, something I don't talk about often, Alex, is that you know I had endometriosis. So I've been in and out of the medical system my whole entire life. And at that moment, I just decided, you know what? This is not how I want to live. I'm in my early 20s. I look horrible. I feel horrible. I want to take back control of my health. And so I started using my research skills that I learned in debate in high school, where I was a top tier ranked debater. And I started reading books at the library, I started looking through the microfiche and looking through journals and reading the best books on nutrition and teaching myself how to eat nutritionally. And what I found out about the food industry in my search for that has never left me the same. And so that's why I've made it my mission in life to tell people about what's in their food. Very well said. I really am trying to adopt this for myself because children fall after their parents' example. And I've seen dramatic changes. But the younger you start, the easier it is. But it's so simple, folks. When you're on these toxic foods, these companies in the last hundred years figured out that they could take petrochemicals, basically make drugs, call them additives, that they would then be very addictive. Most poisons are addictive. And then people would be branded to the weird additives that were in particular food, just like cigarettes have hundreds of additives in them. And really, the scientists were there to figure out how to make it more addictive and how to make you smoke more. And they were able to put incredible poisons in there. 
Well, it's the same thing with food. This is weaponized. And this stuff all got invented in Germany, England, and the U.S. in the last hundred years. And now we're trying to make it out of it. But